welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today's video is hopefully going to be a really satisfying video for you. So I've kept it basically bare face me, got my cup of tea, ironic because it's in a Mickey's coffee cup, but we'll live with that. But basically over on my Instagram a couple of weeks ago, I asked you whether you would like to see a transformation to our garden. So all I've simply done is just done that sort of progress videos throughout the whole thing. Um, but you guys all said that you'd really, really like to see it. So we're now gonna get into that. Roughly about April last year, we actually started doing our garden, but at the time we didn't really do it as well as we could have. So I can definitely add some bits in from that vlog so you can see exactly how it really, really was last year because that was the, obviously the first time we touched it and it was bad, like it was so bad. But we've pretty much come to the end of it now. We've got like one or two bits that we need to do but that's not actually probably gonna be done for a little while. So I thought, instead of me trying to hold this video off, I thought I would definitely get this up sooner rather than later because Everyone in lockdown at the moment's probably had the exact same thing and thought, let's do the gardens. So it's definitely me because I love blue and the garden is blue, which you'll definitely see throughout the vlog. And what I'll do as well is I'll add some clips in at the end of me sort of just over speaking, showing you how it is at the moment. And we've also got fairy lights in there as well. So I'll definitely try and get a clip in of all the fairy lights on in the garden as well. So you'll be able to see that. And yeah it's very cloudy outside so i apologize it's not going to be the best footage i've been trying to film it when the weather's been nice and typical that the time i go to film this the weather is bad so hopefully it's not too bad i really really hope you like the transformation
I really really hope that you enjoyed all the transformations of it it honestly I cannot believe how much we've done to it so I'm just going to do like a brief talk through of everything that we've done in the garden just so it sort of gives you a rough idea of what we've done and all of that so here's our conservatory that is like our messy room at the moment we've literally cleaned the whole house top to toe and the garden's now clean so it's now like the conservatory and shed to sort out because i do actually need the conservatory back in a few weeks so fingers crossed i can start doing some nails again you come out of our conservatory to start off with i cleaned up all these gutters and put in some soil um as you can see there is a couple of weeds now appearing back through but because they're so little it's going to take me no time to get them out but i have then gone ahead and put some flowers in there just to try and dole it up a bit we then have a tree here just to break up that corner and then we also have our two hanging baskets which Billy actually filled in and they look amazing. Basically like a little daisy plant that we've got there and all of our pots are these ones so they're the heritage garden pottery and um, we've got like baby blue ones and the white slash grey ones around the garden so they look really nice and link in with our theme. Then we've got these plants going around here and all the way over to here and this is kind of like a semi messy corner we've got a tiny tiny little bit more painting to do so that's why that's just left out and our bin and the statues of my brother so they're just down there for the meantime and a spare bike but it's not the end of the world so i've completely de-weeded down here because it was so weeded the fence needed painting the a sort of garden butt needed emptying so i've emptied some of that out and that was basically like a really messy area so now that completely looks different and so much nicer um you would have seen in the last one it looks a little bit messy because we had a barbecue um but there's our barbecue that we've done and as you can probably see from the beginning of it i've completely pressure washed the floor so it's actually such a nice color in here now which from last year it was awful this year wasn't as bad but it definitely makes a massive difference we've then got our garden set which actually has six chairs but we only put four out the other two are in the conservatory the umbrella's a little bit um faded but it does the trick it's really nice and we really like it um i've then got my little hanging basket i haven't actually put the cushion on it um but we got that from morrison's and i believe that was 180 pound which is really cheap for the egg chairs and it's really comfy it's really really nice then coming over to here so this is like the main change is we actually kept the fences the same because they were in really good condition and we've simply painted them this really nice baby blue from valspa um i can't remember the exact paint name i think it was like providence blue off the top of my head if it's different i will link it down below i've linked in some little nails here and we have got fairy lights going across all three panels and this probably doesn't look like it took ages but it's took so long this is all really indented so it took a lot of paint to actually change the color of this we then come over to the fish pond so this was already painted but i repainted it just so it looks a lot fresher and a lot clean we have three baby koi in there at the moment and you see our little lilies on top of it and then you come onto the main fence at the back now this took so long as well even though it doesn't look that bad painting a single panel is worse than just doing like a whole massive panel but what we decided to do because we had so many fairy lights left is we've actually gone across and put all the fairy lights over on here which actually look so nice in the evening i cannot wait to show you that to finish the video and it does complement the green in the field behind and it then sort of links nicely onto the garden so we kept all the plants in because they're all really really nice roses and because of all the rain at the moment the grass has actually gone really green as well so you can see here it does look so nice and i think having that blue behind just makes a massive difference and really complements the garden and brings it a lot more brighter so on this side as you can see we have added a little border going around the edge and i painted this because it was like a really like light wooden color so i painted it to match the fish pond so it sort of links in with the garden same with the shed i repainted the shed um so that's all now the same color it matches um the only downfall of this side is i've managed to get one of the borders kind of in 
but round the whole edge around here off the pavement is some concrete so i'm just waiting on billy to get someone to break the concrete up just on the edges so we actually can put the border in because at the moment it's not sitting up and just keeps falling which is really annoying but it's not the end of the world because the main adjustments have been done we then come over onto this side so this is kind of like the last little bit to do and we're not really sure what we want to do with it we've got this gap here where we used to have a magnolia tree which you probably would have seen in the beginning clip but the magnolia tree died so we had to take it out um, I've cleared up most of the weeds. Some of these have just simply grown back because of the weather in the last couple of weeks. Um, my aim is to pick up all the slate, re-pick up all the weeds and probably put some killer down and then maybe then re-put the slate down. But I don't really know what else I can put in this gap because I feel like it needs something, but I'm not sure what. But it's kind of nice being empty because then it makes the garden feel bigger. I don't know if anyone has any ideas and this is like the last bit as well that we don't really know what to do so we've got the ivy and it's kind of nice being there because it's kind of like a woodland theme but I don't know if you'll be able to pick on camera is that it's slanted over and if we cut the ivy down that fence will fall as you can clearly see here it's really being supported by it so we don't know whether to cut it all down and get some new fence panels and then paint it blue and leave it as that or make do with what we've got and you can see here we had a little look to try and see what we thought and then just sort of paint it blue where we can and then just sort of wait for it to grow back is another option but again we're not too sure um i did clean up down this bit and we have got like little fairy lights all sort of all over the place here as well but again i don't really know what we want to do in that area and for the meantime i have actually i don't know if you can see is I've we had loads of fairy lights left so I've put them in here as well just to kind of finish this off so that's kind of me talking about the garden with not rambling on too much um so I hope you enjoyed that um we also cleaned down here as well it was really really disgusting and the other last two bits we need to do is sort that gate out because it's well and truly needs a new gate there we don't want a gap at the bottom because we do want oliver to come out in the garden and we also want to paint this door as well because it's very chipped and the step definitely needs sorting out as well so we'll probably match that to the blue as well because we do have spare blue um so i think it's just a case of picking and choosing what bits we want what um but i reckon the gate will definitely be a baby blue because the fence the other side's blue and we'll probably do the other side of that blue as well and eventually we'll get out to do the front garden but gardens are not a weekend job they take ages and it's taken us so long to get it where it is so it is still needs a few bits done which is fine but the main bits are now done and it's been a massive change to last year so i really really hope that you've enjoyed the transformation if there's anything specifically you liked with the garden you want me to talk a bit more about then leave some comments down below and also as well if you've got any ideas of what we can do with that kind of area then please leave in the comments down below because honestly any suggestion would be amazing but i'm gonna love and leave you now and I'll finish this video with a little montage of the fairy lights once they all turn on. So I really, really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one.